I've been working with dads for over a decade. Uh, I am a father myself, been a father for 30 years. And when I talk to dads and work with dads uh, and organizations that seek to reach dads, one of the pressing questions that comes up again and again, which it, from a father says, you know, what can I do to be a better dad? How can I be the kind of father that I want to be? How can I be the kind of father that God has designed me to be? How can I avoid making uh, mistakes? And so uh, the reason I wrote this book and really um, why God put this on my heart is that there are lessons that can be learned from these fathers in the Bible, guys like David and Eli and, and others uh, who made some pretty serious mistakes uh, when it came to fathering. And these were guys who had a heart for God, yet when it came to fathering, they fell down a bit. And so God let those, these uh, mistakes that they made be front and center. Why? So that we can learn uh, from them. And uh, Bad Dads of the Bible is a book that really kind of looks at those, uh, those ancient stories through a contemporary lens and makes the connection between, you know, some of the mistakes that they made and some of the mistakes even that fathers today are making and how you can move beyond those mistakes to be the kind of father that you want to be and the kind of father that your kids need you to be. There are fewer things that are closer to the heart of God than for fathers to be the kind of fathers that he needs them to be. After all, uh, they are a reflection of him. And it's hard for a kid who has a uh, earthly father who's not a good one to look at God the Father as a heavenly father, as a loving father, because you're supposed to be a reflection of that. And so one of the key ways to do that is to make sure that we learn from the mistakes of the past uh, in the Bible, but also within our society at large, and that we do what we can to improve on our fathering uh, legacy, if you will, uh, by making sure we use that information to be the best dads that we can be. And so it's one of the reasons why I'm excited about the book, and it's one of the reasons why I think folks should uh, definitely pick it up and read it.